Hello Simmers, in this video I'm going over how to install the Urban Social Interaction mod. I hope that this helps you and that you're able to get through this process quite, quite fast. So. The Simplicity Sim Shop is going to be available in the description below. I wanted to let you guys know about this because there are a lot of people that encounter a lot of different problems with installing mods, even with experience. And in these eBooks, I basically just let you know what is the common mistakes that people make and what you can avoid while installing mods. I know what it feels like to be up at like three o'clock in the morning trying to install mods. You have questions, you don't know what to do, and you can't find it anywhere on the internet. So that's why these books are very, very helpful. So grab one for yourself. It will be provided in the description below. So let's get right into it. This is the urban social interaction mod. Okay. It says very clearly at the top, do not forget this mod is still growing and it is far from completed. This means there will be a quite a few updates as I add more. I appreciate your understanding and patience. You always want to pay attention to what mod creators have to tell you in the description, because if you don't, you're going to encounter a lot of problems. The mod cap compatibility is an important section in any mod because it lets you know if it has any reports on conflicts with other mods, but you're lucky this one doesn't. Okay, so we're gonna download the zip file, extract it, upload it, and all that jazz. I always tell everybody who go comes to my channel, always look for download links either at the very top of a website or Patreon or CurseForge or at the bottom of a Patreon page. So what it says is the SFS link DL is here. Do not re-upload my content and do not claim content as your own. Do not ever do that. These people really put a lot of time into this. Please, please follow directions. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the USM zip and it is going to download at the bottom. If you were to click the SFS version, it will be SIM file share. So then you would download it this way. But in my case, I just click the download button because I know my computer can handle it. So just basically click whichever button you need to click for your computer for it to work. Hopefully you're following. <laughs> Once you do that, you can click the arrow and it will say show in folder and you can just pop it up that way. Or you can go to file explorer at the bottom. If you're a MacBook, it will be finder. And then you're going to go ahead and select your documents folder. Now, if you cannot find this documents folder, you have not loaded your Sims 4 game. So please load your Sims 4 game. And then once you do that, exit the game and then try to install mods. You need to let the game load up so the computer can identify where this game is located. Once you do that, select documents folder, go into your electronic arts folder, then inside your Sims 4 folder. And once you're here, go ahead and delete that bad boy called the local thumb cache. Once you see it, select it and delete it. If you don't see it, please don't freak out. The game's still gonna work. Once you go into your mods folder, this is where you're gonna get comfy. So you wanna just get this tab wherever you're comfortable. And then you wanna go back to the bottom of the screen, click on Finder or File Explorer, depending on the situation, and make sure you right click so you can see your selections. Once you click Finder or File Explorer, you're gonna go ahead and select the Downloads tab or wherever you put your locations for downloads. Once you see the zip, you're gonna select it and then you're gonna right click it. After doing that, click Extract All and then extract. Everybody's computer is different, so yours might not say extract all. It might just say extract or open or whatever. The point is you wanna get it open, okay? Once it's open, make sure you identify the TS4 script and the package. These files are all needed for the mod to work properly. You're gonna grab that folder that you just opened and drag that bad boy into the mods folder. Once you do that, I sometimes like to double click just to check and make sure I did everything correct. And then once I see that I did, I, I am safe and comfortable to exit out. Once you exit out, do not forget to go into your game option settings and check and see if they are enabled. You need the CC settings in order for your game to work. So let's go do that now. Once you're in the game, you're going to select options, then game options, and then other. Okay. Once you're here, you'll see this enable custom content and mods and script mods. Click a green check thingy icon on there. Okay. That's how you know it's selected. If you don't see that and you see this, it's not selected. Okay. And then once you do that, you're going to click apply changes. All right. Don't forget the apply changes. If you forget the apply changes and you just click X, it's not going to work. Make sure you exit the game after that because you got to give it a chance to reboot, restart. And once you go back into the game, you'll be able to enjoy this mod. If this was helpful, let me know in the like the comment section below, like the video and sub if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day.